Does VR belong in prison? So the mention of virtual reality within the prison system is likely to conjure sci-fi-esque visions along the lines of Brazil or 1984. However, with 122,000 prisoners in America in solitary confinement right now, and a practice that often isolates them for up to 22 hours a day, ways to mitigate this documented damage that comes from this are needed. In California, prisons have turned to VR to try and prepare prisoners in solitary for what will happen when they emerge. The organization Creative Acts has launched an initiative that gives prisoners access to 20 Oculus Rift headsets with programming that is both escapist, like a rickshaw ride in Thailand, and preparatory, like job interviews or first days out of prison. Now, the concerns that make solitary confinement and inhuman practice aside, and that is a very big aside, the program has shown the value of vicarious learning and preparation for a life outside prison, with infractions during the program decreasing from 735 to 1, whereas the mind was forced to find an escape avenue on its own previously. As long as this isolation does occur, this shows how technology can help augment what humans are already seeking out, moving beyond the VR hype cycle to find use.